Hey everyone, this is me again. The secret to creating a reality is to say something that's going to be agreed with to some extent. So if you try to create a reality that people won't believe in, then it won't take place. Like if you want to prove that really skeletons come to life at night, that's not going to happen. <laughs> because reality is formed based upon uh, a collective ego uh, construct through time and space. So by you believing something, it creates a feedback system in the past. So the linear time frame makes sense with the future. And so it always has to make sense. So I used to believe you should do that because it's kinder to people in the past. Like, you want everyone to operate harmoniously. But then I kind of discovered, no, you have to do it that way um, or else nothing can get created. So in, in comparison, if you want to bring in spiral dynamics in stage blue, you said, I want to be ethical because that's what God wants. And then in stage orange, you're like, I want to be ethical or else everyone's going to steal from each other. and We're not going to have a working system. It's the same thing here. Um, stage shields like I can create any reality but I only want to create the realities that are going to help people and then in stage Auburn you're like you're going to be I only want to create the realities that are going to help people because that's the only thing that will get created <laughs> it's the only way that reality can work you're searching for truth you're searching for what is real and even though you know that you're going to be creating it in the process it's the only way that it would end up in reality uh, at the end of the day, it has to make sense. And if it doesn't make sense to a majority of the collective population, which you can, can pick up intuitively, then you just won't say it. You won't believe it's true. And more outlandish propositions will pro may get factored in in, stage, in the next stage. Like, can skeletons wake up at night? Maybe you'll you'll believe such a thing can happen more. Uh, I don't know what that stage is going to bring, but supposedly stage clear is going to resolve the problem of stage Aubergine slash ultraviolet, having this dualism of thought that they haven't resolved their materialistic outlook and their uh, spiritual outlook yet, or the or the. The intangible outlook. I can't remember the words that have been used in this book I'm reading by Ken Wilber, um, The Religion of Tomorrow. He uses very advanced language that's really useful for, for discussions I have here. Um, but, he's, but he's saying that this, if I understood him correctly, I think I did, that they have this problem that there there is this final physical desire in Aubergin. You want to be mundane. You want to uh, think in, with dualism right that one last stride huh a bug usually that comes to distract me when i'm saying something important uh that one last stride before the enlightenment um so this is actually evidence that those who want to say that stage ultraviolet is uh is this non-dual awareness like yeah you're on the right track in terms of collective consciousness you're aware that the interconnections of minds make you know with everyone uh you know that the intangibility of concept means that every concept is kind of true. You know that um, there is no one which is to say that every idea can form itself. But no, uh, that's not based on what Helen Wilber is implying in chapter 12 of his uh, Religion of Tomorrow, or the end of chapter 11 as well. Uh, Sage Aubergine is going to usher, is going to want uh, one truth because they're fixated on two aspects, truth and non-truth. Let's find the most truth out of this entirety that includes not truth and non-truth. So although they understand truth and non-truth to be arbitrary, to be uh, uh, just a useful uh, tool to navigate the world, they lean in one truth direction, which is actually dualism. So then what comes in, in the, in the stage after, uh, stage clear, is going to be, ah, both of them are one, and therefore the non-truth is actually true and it's also equally true so when the skeletons uh when someone says oh i saw a skeleton come alive at night but wait there's no logic to that it's impossible uh, even if aliens came to earth they can't use the laws of physics to do that um so it's so you're mis you misinterpreted it right at stage Aubergine. but in stage clear it could be either they'll be more gullible or they'll could they could be more um more open-minded 
like, oh, that is possible because anything could take place. So it, it, we have yet to see how that shapes up in the next stage. But so far, it seems that to be the case. Uh, but the point is, th this whole video is not to talk about Sage Aubergine, al although there is tons of overlap. The, the topic of the video is a secret, the secret to creating reality in general. And so the secret of an epiphany from Sage Aubergine is that it has to make sense to people. People have to agree with it. People have to feel inclined to agree with it. People have to see the logic in it. Now, you might be questioning me. Wait, is someone in Sage Orange going to see the logic of someone in Sage Aubergine? Obviously not. They're going to say to you, you're nuts. You're a nut job. What, what is dualism? You know, in the next generation, this is not going to be applicable because everyone's going to know about non-duality because it's true. There is no self. We're all like actors. We're kind of formed out of nothing. Uh, we're just thoughts. The ego is a construct. It's learning how to realize that it doesn't, it's not there and stuff like that. But all that's going to be no next generation. But this generation, you can't talk to a sage orange person about this, about him not existing and, and the self and illusion. So, um, so you can't say, you can't say that we're creating reality to an orange person unless you want him to create a belief system out of it. So I wouldn't be talking about this to, uh, previous paradigms they're just not going to be interested in it they'll just call you whoa this woohoo guy is amazing i love his stuff i can't understand it but i love it i wouldn't try to speak to them but i would try to speak to uh, uh tier two and of course tier three to get a to to enjoy the uh, these these novelties of reality on how to create reality this also means that what tier two will probably start doing sage coral and above They'll, uh, sorry, it's tier three will start doing is they'll start associating themselves with only stage coral people if they're very into creating their own realities. Uh, because if you, like, if you communicate with someone your your stage, you're going to create the reality you want because they're going to feed the, oh yeah, I, saw, I see it that exactly that way. I just saw something else. And then you'll create like a cult in coral, like, oh my gosh, you saw it that way? I also saw it that way. And all of a sudden, everyone's seeing it that way because the minds converge. And so, if, um, so, so tier three will be very interested in that. The problem is, is that cults are not good. Uh, and then you start realizing that you kind of created a cult once you're in teal, but you don't care about it. You're kind of just, as long as everyone sees things the same way, I'm okay. But in Sage Aubergine, you don't have a problem with it, but you kind of condescend on the idea of a cult. Don't turn it into a cult, but turn it into a methodical process for how to create reality. We want extraterrestrials to be real, even though we're creating the concept and we're bridging the gap of worlds. But, you know, like extraterrestrials are a potential reality, and we down here are creating that potential. We're linking the, the non-physical with the physical, right? The mundane with the spiritual. And that in turn creates a belief system collectively on Earth where that's true. So understanding it in that light is like a stage Aubergine perspective. It's more methodical, it's more self-honest, it's more um, accepting of both the it not being real, but accepting that it could be real and you will make it real if you start seeing the truth of it in your everyday life. So that is uh, the secret to creating reality, uh, to, to creating realities. The, the title will sound uh, mundane or cliche to New Agers who are just entering turquoise um, and yellow, but it's, it's very important for just the overall mechanics of reality.